Welcome everyone. Um, I'm making a video. It's my second video on the back to the top button. First, I made a video with a stationary back to the top button, and I'll show you on my website. Like if you scroll to the bottom, there's a stationary button that says back to the top. You click, it will take you back to the top. But Mark, um, John Markley asked me a question on how to make one that actually fades in when you scroll to the bottom, like this one. Like if I'm scrolling to the bottom, see it fades in over here. You can click it and go back to the top. When it's to the top, the button disappears. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that one. Um, let's. I even hook you guys up with a template right here. I made a template so you guys can use that template however you like. Let's jump into Dreamweaver and I'll explain all the codes. Um, in the HTML side of things, there's a few things you're going to need. You're gonna need to include this in this i this um code for the Internet Explorer browser because yeah, Internet Explorer sucks. Um, you're going to need. Well, that's pretty much all you need in top here. Um, at the bottom. You'll need to grab this button, and I made comments throughout the code here. You see, copy this link. So there's comments throughout my code, and you need to copy this um, JavaScript function that um, will run the back to the top button. These are just JavaScript um, functions that animates the button at the bottom. You really don't need to touch those. If you guys um, want to, then you can go ahead and, and mess with those. But you really have no reason to touch those. Um, in the CSS code, all you really need is this at the bottom. If you're not going to use the template, this, this other code is for all the templates. If you're not going to use the template, then you just grab this code for the button at the bottom. And that's all you really need. Now at the top, I recommend it to everyone who do web design to use the CSS reset. What this does is to reset how it sets everything back to basics. Your um, your divs, your h1 tags, your block quotes, your um, everything goes back to default, like zero padding, zero margin. Everything goes to basic. So whatever code you apply to those elements, it will take the code you apply, and no browser can set a default for those um, functions. If you understand what I mean, because some browser will set say on the footer, some browser set a default of. Five padded, five pixel padding on the inside. Some browsers do seven, some browsers do eight, and some browsers do none at all. So it's best to set a reset. You reset all the browser presets and then style your your, your forms. So here we go, guys. Just um, I can't really type out all the code, but you guys will have all the code. Like I said, it's well commented. You guys can just go through, mess with whatever you need to, and um, use this template however you like. I may not use this background, give you guys this background, because it is my main background for my website. So I may not leave this background in here. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later.